Well, hello. It's freezing in my hotel room. I don't understand. It's set at, set at 72, but it's like blasting cold air in here. My nose is freezing. My view, I can't get over how, I'm on the 38th floor, 38. My ears were popping as I went up the elevator. This is so cool. <laughs> I'm gonna change. I'm gonna edit. I'm in Detroit. I don't know if I said that. And I need to go to bed. But I have all day here tomorrow. I just worked two flights today. I worked from Boston to New York and then from New York to Detroit. Easy. Easy crowds, easy flights, cool crews both ways, like cool pilots. I'm working with my friend Amber. Yeah. I'm pumped. I'm excited to explore Detroit. I've never been here. I've, I've stayed in like, I've had layovers in Detroit, but we stayed by the airport. I've never been in Detroit. I'm excited. I have a couple places on my list that I wanna go to. I don't know a lot about Detroit. The most I know about Detroit is Eminem. <laughs> um, cars. Uh, I remember the real world season in Detroit. <laughs> that was so long ago. Um, I don't remember what else. I know Detroit has a lot to offer though. So, we'll see. It's so foggy out. So, it's 41 degrees outside. I slept in way past, well not way past, I was planning on getting up at 8.30. It's now 9.40. I'm gonna run up to the gym quickly and just do some weights, I think. Maybe stretch a little. I just wanted to get something in quickly. And then Amber and I are gonna get coffee. I think I have a place picked out that I wanna check out. And then go explore. It's cozy in here all night though. I slept pretty well, I had some like gnarly dreams even though i don't really remember them now like i said before i've been good about getting getting little workouts in i've had this lululemon top for i think five years <laughs> really like it though it's a good little top <sighs> i didn't even share what i packed yesterday i had what did i have i was in such a rush to leave i've been in such a rush lately my life is just go 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 I packed some bone broth soup in my Hydro Flask container in here. Obsessed with this thing. Obsessed. I'll, I'll show the bone broth soup. Um, I packed sausage and I packed some protein bars. I ate the sausage. I packed broccoli too, but I didn't end up eating the broccoli. Shocker. It was like cold and unseasoned cooked broccoli. Like, it's the last thing I want. All right, off to the gym. This gym is sick. That gym was trashed, I have to say. I loved it. The view was incredible. It was sick, but it was trashed. I am literally just gonna wear like the same thing, except I'm gonna put my Converse on and then wear my puffy jacket. And I obviously have on my little beanie because it is cold outside uh amber's waiting for me i was supposed to meet her like like five minutes ago but i am heading out now i feel so bad i'm the worst <laughs> why have i been like such a manic rush lately i don't know i'm excited to get a little winter warm beverage though
Hello. Oh, I am back in my hotel. Oh, with this view. Still foggy. Ooh, the fog is actually like really creeping in. There were flurries all day today. You could barely see it. I couldn't pick it up on camera. Okay, I need to say I'm super into Detroit. Like I really like it here. Um, and I really want to come back on a weekend because so many places that I want to go are closed and it's a Monday. So many places are closed like Monday and Tuesdays here. Like a lot of restaurants and a lot of bars that I wanted to check out. I want to go to, there's this place called Carl's in the Siren Hotel or by the Siren Hotel that we, um, that we went to. That's the first place where we got coffee. Uh, the omelets were pretty good at the dime store. I want to go to the evening bar, which is in, oh crap. I put the name of the hotel while I was there. <laughs> um, the second hotel that we were checking out. And we're going to this restaurant tonight, which I'm also forgetting the name of, but you'll see the name of it on the screen. Um, and I'm so excited, it's connected to that hotel that I wanna go to, like go back to and go to the evening bar, but it's closed, but the restaurant's open. The evening bar is closed. The evening bar looks so cool. I had no idea Detroit, like I knew Detroit was gonna be cool, cause I've heard a few people say like, Detroit's pretty cool. I've heard very strong opinions and mixed reviews on Detroit, if I'm being 100% honest. I have felt safe for the most part being here walking around and I've also been really enjoying myself and have been very 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 pleasantly surprised at how cute and trendy and stylish so many of these places are like the entire time we were walking around these hotels my jaw was on the floor by how adorable it is just obsessed and I really want to come back when everything is open so then I can, I want to like bar hop or maybe like do a brunch day, get a good long 30 hour layover like this one and be able to just kind of like hop around and try the different bars and different restaurants, maybe on like a brisk winter day so it's all cozy inside the bars and restaurants. I feel like that would be really fun. So I'm going to keep my eye open for other Detroit layovers, but I like it here. We went into this one store, I didn't film there. And of course, I forgot the name of it. I tried on these Levi jeans that I actually really want. And I need to look into ordering them. But I'm going to get dressed. I'm going to rinse off, redo my makeup, get ready. Amber and I are going to dinner. I can't decide if I'm going to have a cocktail or not tonight. We only have one flight we have to work in the morning. And our, our van time honestly isn't until 6.30. I wanna be back here by like eight. <laughs> we'll see, we're getting dinner at exactly at five. Amber and I are gonna play it at ear, play it by ear. So I really like Detroit, you guys. Detroit is cute. Detroit is so cute, who knew? <laughs> like I said, everything else I thought about Detroit is true, like there's like, I see, keep seeing like car stuff everywhere. But I'm just super into this. I wanna come back. Even in the dead of winter, I'm really enjoying it here. <laughs> Okay, so I didn't have time at all before I left to share what I was wearing, but basically, let me take this off. 
I'm wearing this pink cropped sweater that I got from Revolve. These big gold hoop earrings are from, oh crap, they're about to fall off my ear. Oh wait, no, they're just twisted. Made well. Carhartt beanie. It's the only one I brought with me. Ugh. And then Princess Polly flared jeans with my Converse. Ah, platform Converse. Okay, story time. Oh, I'm so full, it hurts. But I have to share this evening with y'all. Okay, I feel like I need to prop my camera up better. Okay, so really quickly, I'm gonna share the evening with you guys. So Amber and I, we get to, I already forgot the name of it. Why do I keep forgetting the name of this restaurant? And it's such a simple, like it's not even complicated. Anyway, we get to the restaurant and we come in, it's beautiful. We get there right when they open at 5 p.m. We weren't there very long. I feel like we were there way longer. We really weren't. I think it's seven o'clock. I don't know. Yeah, so we get there. We sit down at the bar. I don't know why on a whim we were like, let's just sit at the bar. We weren't even sure if we were gonna have a drink or not. So we go in and we sit at the bar. We're like debating what we want for our cocktail because we were gonna have like one drink and Amber had one drink. I had more than one, <laughs> I had three. Anyway, so we sit down, we're chatting and then there's like an older gentleman next to us and he like overhears our conversation because she was getting an old fashioned and she was talking about different bourbon. And so he starts giving his recommendations for bourbon. And but then he like goes back and he's talking with his, like he was there with business partners, I think. Um, and then Amber and I are like continuing our conversation. He, he talks to us a couple times and then turns back around. Well then one of the times he turns around and speaks to us, not invasive, not rude, nothing, just very much like in and out of conversation. Um, nothing weird. And he just said, by the way, ladies, like we got your first round. And we're like, oh, thank, oh my goodness, thank you so much. That's so kind of you. Completely unnecessary, but he just did it to be generous out of the kindness of his heart. And then I grab another round. <laughs> um, what did I get? The first drink I got was, it had something with like apple soda in it. It was a gin drink with thyme. It's not called something thyme. And then the second drink I got was like some kind of cran spiced cranberry, not sweet at all. It was really good. It was like a vodka cranberry drink. And then the third drink I had was, oh, I had a French 75, which I really liked. Um, we had a great bartender. Anyway, we get a couple appetizers. We get like this ricotta with honey and toasted garlic on it. And then we got this like salami with pickled vegetables. And then he leans over and he's like, are you girls doing dinner here tonight? And we we're like, yeah, we were just gonna get like a couple more appetizers. He was like, why don't you just get like dinner dinner? And we're like, oh, you know, like we're, we're just gonna do the appetizers. He goes, no, really. He goes, whatever you guys want, whatever you're getting, your tab's on me. We were like, oh no, like that's way too generous of you. He goes, no, 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 what do you want? And he like, he gets the menu from the bartender. He starts asking the bartender like, what's the best thing on the menu? And she starts telling us what she thinks are the best things on the menu. We were telling him what we were looking at that, that looked good. And we ended up ordering three dishes. We ordered the scallops, a truffle pizza, and what else? Oh, like a veal bolognese or something. Oh my God, it was all so good. Not to mention the best part of the entire meal. I'm, I'm like, I'm so excited. I like can't even get the words out. Was dessert. He told the bartender, make sure that they get dessert. I overheard him saying that to the bartender and she's like, okay. Um, and she told us like, you guys really need to try the pistachio cake. <sighs> we got the pistachio cake. It was so good. Like I, it's probably the best, one of the best desserts I've ever had. I'll remember it forever. And I want to come back to Detroit just to have the pistachio cake. Oh my goodness. It was so good. Ugh. And Amber and I are just like, I can't believe we just had a huge dinner with appetizers, entrees, drinks, dessert paid for. We left the bartender an extra tip and she told us that he tipped her very well. By the way, he left him and his business partners and he was there with his son. He was like, girls, I hope you have an amazing night. 
happy holidays happy new year enjoy yourselves enjoy your dinner we were like oh my goodness thank you thank you thank you and then he left and that was before we even got our entrees i'm just so in shock there was no ulterior motive there was no weirdness he was just kind and just bought us dinner and our dinner had to be very expensive i promise it was at least i don't know the truffle pizza alone was 40 the scallops were 40 the like and she said it had to be around like 300 dollars with everything that we got at least 200 for sure 300 maybe with tip yeah and yeah then we left her a little extra tip because we had to leave something we had to do something but i just couldn't believe it merry christmas to us <laughs> so yeah now i'm back i still have like a i still have plenty of time before i need to go to bed i'm gonna organize my room i'm gonna drink a lot of water and i don't know what else i need to go to bed i didn't get a ton of sleep last night but i just had the best the best detroit layover i am so pleased that i came here i'm happy i came with amber i'm happy that i got to experience the city and everything it has to offer and i feel like i only explored a very small part of detroit too on top of it but i loved what i got to see i absolutely love this place and it snowed oh my goodness you guys did you see the snow in the video the snow that was my first snow of the season first snow i've seen this winter so that was exciting too and then the ski the i keep saying the skiers the ice skaters hmm. I'm happy but yeah I'm gonna wind down wash my face okay guys all right story times over